Hi, I have in front of me here a, a complete outdoor UHF aerial installation kit. It consists of everything that's required to successfully install a UHF aerial to pick up either um, the, the traditional analog UHF signal or indeed the new digital terrestrial signal that's now being broadcast in Ireland. Um, so I'll quickly go through the various elements of the kit. Um, on my left hand side here, I have the three parts of the aerial. I have the main part of the aerial here. I have the deflecting plate, which sits at the back of the area, like so. And also, finally, I have a, a bracket that allows this um, to be clamped onto, or a bracket that goes in the area that clamps onto a wall bracket, okay? So we'll just rotate we'll that area out of the way quickly. We'll move on then to the actual uh, bracket itself. This is um, a bracket that comes with a satellite dish. It is ideal for mounting this particular um, mounting this bracket onto a wall using these plugs and bolts that we see here. Um, we'll drill a 10 mm hole and we would simply push four plugs in and then use a 13 mm spanner to, to firmly um, clamp this onto the wall and then we rotate this arm into the position that we want and we lock it into position using either a 10 mm socket or spanner. Now the next step in the process after that would be to come along and to actually connect a, um, a satellite cable or a coaxial cable, uh, which is a 20 meter cable here, from a TV aerial uh, all the way down to the TV. So um, we'd use this cable here to do this. Uh, we'd use the tie wraps and the clips that come with the kit to be able to firmly uh, and securely clip or tie the cable into uh, position. And also then we provide a number of cables with this. Basically, in its simplest format, we'd only need a single coaxial cable where the cable runs directly from here uh, all the way down to the, the television, okay? But in this particular case, um, we have two coaxial cables in case there's a face plate being used, okay? And also, which would normally be the case, and also we have provided two F connectors and a joiner in case this cable needs to be joined into a cable that's already in the wall in the attic, okay? And also we provided, um, uh, so the F joiner for joining these two cables together and then a coaxial uh, coupler because sometimes, you know, you just need a coupler for whatever reason. Um, so I just, um, it's relatively low, low cost uh, connectors so we put it into the kit as well, okay? So that's, that's pretty well an overview. Now what channels can you get on it? Well, on the analog, um, if you're in a UHF only area, uh, you will get, be able to get uh, four Irish, so basically RT1 and 2, TV3 and TG Camper are all available uh, with a UHF area. So transmitters such as Carn Hill and, um, for example, and Tree Rock in Dublin uh, will be able to give you this. Now this um, kit uh, comes as standard with a wideband UHF area, which covers the entire UHF spectrum. Now if you like, we'll say you can look up the, the transmis transmitter uh, information tab on each, this product and you'll be able to see a list of all the various transmitters across Ireland. So sometimes we'll say for Carn Hill you'd find out that uh, using a, a, a yellow tipped area might work out slightly better. You can order this kit and just put in a shipping note to say uh, please add or please provide me with a yellow tip rather than the standard black tipped area. Um, now the final, there's a, a two versions of this kit available on the website. There's the kit exactly as it sees in front of you here, or you have the alternative of actually dropping off this bracket and these uh, bolts here, and instead using the following, which would be this bracket and lashing kit, and this six foot, one point eight meter pole here. Okay, and the idea of using these particular ones would be this. Um, uh, kit here, this bracket here and lashing kit actually fixes around the chimney and the aerial, uh, the, the pole will fix onto this bracket and then the aerial that we see over here will fix onto the top of the pole and the advantage of using this one is the higher the aerial is the better chance we have of getting good reception. Uh, but the big difficulty with this is twofold. Number one, it's um, you know somewhat more expensive. It adds you know probably 20 or 30 percent on the price of the kit, kit to get to buy it like this. That's the first problem. And the second problem we see with that particular kit is, um, you know, it's more dangerous. It's much easier to walk off the ladder and drill this hole and bolt it directly onto a, a gable wall of a house than to actually climb up on a chimney and where you really should be using roofing ladders and safety harnesses and ropes and things like this. So we've given it as an option, but the default option on the website is to buy it with um, 
the, the wall bracket. But if you want, you can you can choose the option of going uh, chimney mounted, and it, and we'll drop this from the kit and we'll add on these two components instead. So that's it, um, more or less from beginning to end. Uh, it is possible to add on the DTT. Um, a receiver onto this and use this as a full DTT kit and then you'll be able to receive the four the Irish channels digitally along with the RT news channel and things like that. Uh, but that's a relatively new departure in Irish television. But I mean it's the official launch for the DTT uh, is in October, end of October 2010. Uh, but um, in reality the, the signal has been broadcasting for most transmitters uh, since uh, the summer of 2009. So anyway uh, this is a, a, an overview from beginning to end of the outdoor UHF aerial TV kit.